Ha ha! What a fantastic start to a Tuesday morning. From seeing their tracks coming out of Simbombili to finding the lions on their buffalo kill right next to a dam called, or a waterhole called Sydney's Dam, which is in Buffalo's Hook, we have our wonderful Nkuhumas. It's so special to see them because, of course, yesterday I was hearing all sorts of updates about them and they were stretching and yawning and going for a walk and having a drink at Simbambili Dam and we couldn't get to them. So to see our much-beloved Pride of Lions is always a very special thing indeed. Unfortunately, though, because it is on Buffel's Hook, which is a property to the north of our boundary, unfortunately we can't go any closer. So I can't really improve the view that we have. However, it is always special to catch up, especially on such an atmospheric morning. Here's one little straggler. What you up to, little monkey? Go eat your breakfast. <laughs> Watching the rest of the pride as they slowly but surely move towards Sydney's dam. And I wonder if they're going to go and have a drink. I don't know, genre, can you see those ones on the on the Yes, you can. Perfect, thank you. One lioness, two lionesses. I actually think that this kill was relatively recent, at least in the last three or four hours that these lionesses took down this buffalo. There was still a little bit of growling, a little bit of fussing over who had a chance to eat first. And now the lionesses are looking, I can't see, but you see, ah. There we go. I was about to say, you see that hunched posture of the lioness? She might be watching something, but she's up now. And I'm hoping that while we watch these lions and at Sydney's dam itself, or Sydney's waterhole, I'm hoping that you really might get to hear one of the most impressive sounds. What are you ladies looking at? Of the bush. And that is the call of the African fish eagle. And we'll go on to that in a moment, but I just want to, I actually think I want to go forward. I'm a little bit concerned about losing signal as we go forward into the dip, but I do want to, s oops. <laughs> Sorry, I was speaking over the African fish eagles call. <laughs> okay. Well, it seems as though it's actually, the lionesses have relaxed. There's some arguing over the remains of the buffalo. <laughs> Chandra, I've just realized. Remember when I said the guinea fowl are making a fuss about nothing? They're not obviously making a fuss about nothing because obviously they've been watching these lions and alarm calling at them. I always find it astounding how, I shouldn't find it astounding the number of times I've seen it, but just the aggression between the females, and it's all forgotten. And welcome to BHJ Horses on this sunrise safari. You wanted to know how long the pride will be feeding on this, hold on, go back, it's, mm, minor scrap. Little bit of growling between them. Sorry, horses. I'm I'm going to um, shorten your your name to horses. I hope you don't mind. Or perhaps B H J. Um, either way, you want to know how long this carcass will last them? Not long at all. So there are five lionesses in this pride, at least as far as I can see at the moment. There are there are five lionesses. There might not be five lionesses at the moment. There might also be a male somewhere in the vicinity, but I doubt it, just because of the fact that the lionesses are feeding now and all looking relatively full. So I don't think there's a male, but there are five lionesses and six cubs which it's a lot of bellies to feed even though the cubs are just a few months old the oldest are coming up to six months or just six months uh, the youngest are around four um, and despite the fact that they are still young they are hungry little creatures and as a result this carcass won't last them long at all at all it's not a big buffalo it looks like it is either a young male or a female from what little i can see the Yukum is proving once again that they are a force to be reckoned with 
This is the second time I've found the Nkuhumas really, really easily in the last week. <coughs> I'm going to have to start paying for it. I feel as though somehow bush karma is going to come back and bite me. Ah. Here comes James and our special guests. So James is driving out of Voyatella Lodge, which means that he can cruise along towards the lines and come a little bit closer. So when you see a vehicle getting closer and you're wondering about why it is that we can't go there, it's just traverse agreements. It's just different traverse agreements. Ah, the excitement. And the lioness watching them. So there you go. Now typically, we, we have seen the Nkumas in the past with their buffalo kill, to go back to how long it will take them to finish it off. We've seen Nkumas in the past with buffalo kills, big buffalo bulls that have lasted them a good two or three, sometimes even four or five days, depending on how many lionesses are there. I love that possessive paw, this by the way, it's, it's mine, I want it. But now things have drastically changed with the arrival of the cubs, even though they are quite young and quite small. Fortunately for them, their moms and aunts are very proficient hunters. And they seem to have, I wouldn't call it an unparalleled success rate, but it is certainly an extraordinary success rate when it comes to catching and killing buffalo over the last few weeks. A little cub back there, ears back, already showing the signs of aggression that we've seen as they, the cubs have grown older, they, at such a tender age, know that they have to fight for their place at the table. And fortunately, they know that usually, usually, mind you, that mom or aunt is probably not going to hurt too much if they do get into a fight about whose chance it is to feed.